the Triton Showers National Rally Championship. Killybegs, home of the Irish fishing fleet, swelled with more than 140 rally crews in common celebration of one of its finest ever skippers, Martin Howley, a true captain of industry. The Martin Howley Memorial Donegal Harvest Stages Rally honours the skipper, a big man with an even bigger heart. Martin loved motorsport and this demanding eight stage event is in his honour, within sight of his fishing trawlers here in the Killybegs Harbour. A fitting tribute. The ceremonial start outside rally headquarters at the Bayview Hotel saw Declan Boyle lead the field away in his Fiesta WRC, followed by a host of top-class drivers in top-class machinery. Spectators can look forward to some of the best viewing all year on stages that vary from the wild Atlantic Way coastline to fast and twisty inland stages and will be the ideal test of car and crew on new terrain. Triton Trail draws to a close in the scenic surrounds of Killybegs. The results here will crown our champions in the Group N and the Junior categories, with a number of class awards also to be decided. So there's a tense excitement rippling through the field. There's also the small matter of second and third overall positions to be decided between Niall Maguire and Declan Boyle. Declan, you're a Donegal man and of course it's a wonderful rally to commemorate Martin Howley. It must mean a lot to you. It's great to, to have this special day for him and uh, hopefully everybody now will get around safe and, and, and finish. Niall, it's a beautiful day to go rallying. Absolutely, this is the first time I've ever done a rally out of Keighley Beggs and the morning's absolutely fabulous and the four fabulous stages here so it's going to be hell for leather here today so it is. The Group N battle has come down to the wire between former champion Shane Maguire and defending champion Aidan Ray. Shane will be putting up a tough battle I'm sure and uh, I think we'll just try and keep an eye on him, not really concentrating as much and pushing hard for whatever way it works. Now. We'll not push too much, but we'll watch the car and try and get there. Like. Yeah, it's going to be a tough day here, myself and Aidan, the pressure's really on today, so just hopefully both of us get through to the finish anime and see what happens from there. There was last minute drama in the two-way tussle for the junior crown as Michael Boyle blew his engine while testing prior to the event. But in a very sporting gesture, former junior champion Cormac Phelan withdrew his entry and donated his engine to local man Boyle. Michael, to win the junior championship, you have to finish first here today. No pressure. Uh, we'll give it a go anyway. See, we're lucky to be here. We had a bit of a mishap blue's engine yesterday, but a fair play, you know, to Cormac Phelan. He gave me his engine, so, you know, there's not many out there that will do that for me, so thanks him very much. Michael Boyle, of course, he has to win here to take the championship from you. Do you think you can keep him at bay? That's the plan anyway. Um, he's going to be very quick up here in Donegal, where he's from. Like so, you know, it's going to be it's going to be tough. Clerk of the course, Carl Reid and his team at Donegal Motor Club have laid on four outstanding stages, each done twice. The two morning stages follow the wild Atlantic way through the villages of Kilcar and Glencolum Kill, while the two afternoon stages are based further inland around Loch Croke and Loch Aderry. With fine weather and a spectacular setting, conditions were perfect for Declan and Brian Boyle as they took to the stages in their Fiesta WRC. Three, two, one, go. Six over crest, two right absolute. With the three right past the pole. And a two right out of it, absolute. One right over crest past the wall, one left. Two right over crest, did through narrows. The local cousins set quickest times on both stages of the opening loop to open up an early lead of over 13 seconds.
Their second run through the loop, which included this fan-friendly zone through Kilcar Village, saw them increase their lead to 24 seconds at the halfway point of the rally. Second to boil across the morning loops was Gary Jennings in the Subaru WRC. The Fermanagh native was definitely enjoying the new stages and the big crowds with local navigator Rory Kennedy. 16. 5 now this time. Manus Kelly's first two drives in a World Rally car netted two victories, namely the Carlo National and the Donegal International Rallies. His third event saw him hold third place on his local rally, with Gareth Doherty calling the notes this time. And up the crest, 80. One right past the farm, 80. Very long, absolute one right over bumps. And chair, long two left, tight and stone cut. Cavan's Chris Armstrong had a sensational drive across the opening stages to lead the two wheel drive battle and hold fourth overall in his 2.5 litre escort. Two left into four right over crest, 40. Four left over crest, bump opens 100. Flat two right into one left over small bump. And one left, 60 to three right plus over crest jump. Repeat, three right plus over crest jump. 100 up over small bumps. Three right, repeat, three right. Fifth overall and second in class were Damien Gallagher and Mac Walsh. The Donegal crew were just 3.2 seconds off Armstrong after four stages. A further three seconds adrift and sixth overall were former champions Niall Maguire and Enda Sherry. The Monaghan crew were putting their faith in new tyres for these new stages. Middle over first, 60, one right at the double poles, 160. Oh, <laughs> slight left over first and dip one, 300. At the end, right over first, 100 down to Shiki and right end right. Just one second off Maguire's Subaru WRC was the Escort Mark II of Gary Kiernan, who set fastest two-wheel drive time on stage four. Declan Gallagher had been quickest two-wheel drive on the opener, but he slid his starlet off the road just around this corner on stage two. Thankfully, he and navigator James McNulty were okay. They weren't the only ones to succumb to this tricky off-camber coastal section of stage two as Cahan McCourt and Brian Hoy also made a dramatic exit from the rally. Again, the safety measures within rally cars ensured the crew walked away unhurt from the incident. Damien Toner and Denver Rafferty were fourth in class at eighth overall and pushing their escort to the limits in front of the appreciative fans. Joe McGonagall upgraded from a Super 2000 to an R5 spec Skoda Fabia and was holding ninth overall and leading class five as he got to grips with the new machine. Second in class was US-based Irishman Paul Rowley with Brian Doherty calling the notes in the Skoda Fabia S2000. Six right into press jump at the house. 150, good braking. Chicane tight, right in three. Three bails. After two stages, Aidan Ray held a slender two-second lead over Shane Maguire in the hunt for the Group M title. But after the second run through the stages, he stretched his lead to 18 seconds in the Mitsubishi Evo 10. Slow one left over crest and five right, don't cut at the fence. 40 down, flat two left over crest, going flat one left, 200. Shane Maguire had by no means given up the ghost and was pushing hard in the older model Mitsubishi Evo 9. One hundred after to a flat right at the pole up there, 40. Middle on the small crest and a one right over crest, don't cut and three left minus, opens flat two left, carry. Opens flat two carry, 120. Late two left, 35 right. With the 2.5 litre machines leading the way in the two wheel drive battle, there was an epic duel in the two litre class 13 standings where Columba Hina was shaving time wherever he could in his Toyota Corolla. 
Just half a second behind was the escort of Ryan Lochran. The long five right and on goal. Double caution, big press jump. And 100 over bad bumps. There's Shakian. And the big jump and the bad bumps him. Shakian. Slowed at the scene of Cahan McCourt's earlier accident, Sean Liston had ground to make up in Class 13. There was yet another twist in the junior class as title hopeful Michael Boyle crashed out early in his first stage, meaning it should be plain sailing for Gary McNamee. Under no pressure either was Formula One commentator Tony Jardine, who was driving the Mitsubishi of his late friend Martin Harley, whom this rally commemorates. Yeah, the skipper, a uh, great motorsport man, fisherman, and um, yeah, we were good friends, but I didn't realise how big he was in the community here and how much, how loved he was by everybody. You know, as a stalwart of Donegal Motor Club and all the work that he's put in, um, I think it's fitting that the rally is in his memory. So at the halfway point of the rally, it's Declan and Brian Boyle who are well poised to make it three wins in a row at the harvest stages. Titles and awards hang in the balance here as we head into the final stages of the Triton Showers National Rally Championship. Join us for more after the break. The Triton Showers National Rally Championship. Welcome back to Donegal for part two of the Martin Harley Memorial Harvest Stages Rally. Having carved out a 25 second lead across the coastal morning stages, Declan and Brian Boyle prepared to tackle the tight and twisty afternoon stages that traverse the rocky terrain further inland. The former champions continued a pace and were fastest once more to extend their lead to 37 seconds after stage six. One left, two right. Press stop, then six right. Stop. Now, and a three left to the dip stop for five right of a jump. And a six left. And a six left again. And a six right. And a hair from left. Don't cut this hair from left. Big stone. And a six right, and a five left at the house, two right to the junction, one left on press stop, and five, the depth, five left at the depth. Despite losing ground to the leaders, Gary Jennings and Rory Kennedy were happy with their pace in the Subaru WRC. Press on 80, right entry to 200. Middle of a right crest jump, brave. A further 37 seconds back and third were Manish Kelly and Gareth Doherty. A third square right, tight, feel inside. Third square right, tight, feel inside. Chris Armstrong and Chris Melly were still going strong to hold fourth overall and lead the two-wheel drive section in their escort. Niall Maguire climbed from 6th to 5th on the first run through the afternoon stages. Also gaining a place on that loop were Gary Kiernan and Ryan Moore who were now up to 2nd in class and 6th overall. Despite losing a spot, Donegal clubman Damien Gallagher was thrilled with the new stages organised by clerk of the course Carl Reid. It's a brilliant rally so far. I mean, fair bit of care and all the boys. A lot of work to bring a rally to a new area. That's definitely new stuff to us. I mean, I'm rallying this county for 23 years and I've never been over here rallying. Uh, not in these stages anyway. So uh, definitely fair bit of putting together and a brilliant event so far. Back at the service halt and Killy Beggs, there were some war stories being traded and perhaps some fighting talk before the final loop of stages. Chris, stage five, you had a bit of a moment. Uh, just across some of the jumps in the beginning. Um, it was unexpected, really. We nosedived a bit, but other than that, we're happy enough. We had no major moments. Um, we got a bit of a jump on some of the people on stage five, so uh, if we get to the end, they will be happy. I don't know, we had a bit of trouble with flat shift. It was 
Okay, I was cutting in and cutting out on the long stage, but ah, we'll keep pushing and see can we put a bit more pressure on him. He might have a spin or something. <laughs> Shane, Group N, the championship, it's in your sights. How are you getting on? Yeah, it's a, it was a good loop that there for us. We took a bit of time on this first stage out, but then Aidan took another five seconds or so. It's a, I think there's about 10 and now going into the last loop, so it's going to be it's going to go right to the wire, this one. So with just the final loop of two stages to go, we turn to the class battles now and securing the class one titles in both the Triton Showers National and the Sligo Palace Border Championships with the runner-up spot at the final round were Rory McCaffrey and Seamus McTighe. Damien Cullen and Sean McElwain took the Class 1 win in their Honda Civic. In Class 2, Jenna McCann and John McCabe took third place and secured the Triton Showers Group R Cup and the Border Class 2 title in their Fiesta R2. 60 and turn square left, don't cut. Kerb on the inside. Kerb on the inside, don't cut. 40 and 2 right over bridge. 40 and a 3 left. 100. I think he brought 100. Keelan Maguire took second and class in the Honda Civic. Taking the class two win in their Citroen C2 were David Kelly and James Conwell. Rory and Martin McGarity won class three in their Peugeot 106. After mechanical trouble dropped him into Rally 2 early on, Tony Jardine in true skipper fashion salvaged something from the day and finished 5th in Class 4. 4th in Class went to Gary Kearns and Justin Coyle. Trevor Bustard and John McCafferty finished 3rd in Class 4 and 18th overall. Having closed within 11 seconds of the class lead going into the final loop, Shane Maguire and Mac Cairns had to settle for the runner-up spot as Aidan Ray and Kieran McGrath put the boot down on the final two to win by over 20 seconds in the end and secure their second motorsport safety team group end title in a row. It was a tough year. Shane put it up uh, a good strong fight today for it, so he did. Uh, he didn't leave it one bit easy at all. There was only like... 11 seconds in the last two stages, but we're more than over the moon to be here now, to be honest. Taking the Class 5 win and 6th overall in their Skoda R5 were Joe McGonagall and Cairn Ganey. It was a successful trip back to Ireland for New York-based Ender McCormick, who won Class 7 and finished 15th overall with Navigator Colin Fitzgerald. Five right, 300, 300, care crest and four left minus, repeat, care crest, four left minus, just after the crest. Justin Smith and James McAnini won class nine in their Mark II Escort. Winner of Class 10, John Kelly had to settle for third overall in the Border Championship, while Niall Kelly secured second overall in the Navigator section. Kevin McLaughlin had been pushing hard for the top spot in Class 11F, and it's easy to see why he didn't finish with flat out driving like this. Start to finish victory in Class 11F were Paul Creamer and Patrick Durning. Desi Keenan and James McCarville took over the Class 11R lead in Stage 2 and never relinquished it, taking the class win and finishing 19th overall after a fine drive in the 1600cc Escort. Third in Class 12 was enough to secure the Class 12 national title for Eamon McGuigan and Michael Moran, at the expense of defending champion Vincent Collins, who took the runner-up spot with navigator Finton Kilrow. But winning Class 12 on the day was Brian Armstrong, who had to settle for the runner-up spot in the overall Sligo Palace Border Championship, behind champions Seamus Connolly and Gary McCrudden, who did not finish. In Class 13, Sean Liston and wife Katrina were going well until the engine in their BMW blew on Stage 5. 
It had been a punishing stage on Car and Crew, but it was a bittersweet end to the season as they secured the Class 13 national title despite the retirement. Evoking scenes of a bygone era, John Bonner and Leon Jordan took fourth in Class 13 and finished 16th overall on their home rally. Fellow Donegal crew Patrick McHugh and Parik O'Donnell took third in Class and 13th overall. More locals, Columba Hina and Michael McLafferty finished second in Class 13 and ninth overall in the Toyota Corolla. A fantastic drive in the two-litre escort netted the Class 13 win and seventh overall for Ryan Lochran and Brendan McElhenney. Kevin Eaves and Enda Garrity finished 11th overall and fourth in Class 14. Third in Class and eighth overall were Damian Toner and Denver Rafferty. Runners up in Class 14 and fifth overall were Donegal crew Damian Gallagher and Mac Walsh. There was misfortune for Chris Armstrong and Chris Melly on the final loop. The Cavan men were in line to win the two-wheel drive section and possibly third overall, but slid off the road on the penultimate stage. Fellow Cavan man Gary Kiernan took up the reins to take the two-wheel drive win and finish fourth overall with local man Ryan Moore on the notes. Triton Showers National Championship now and the two-wheel drive section was there was stiff competition. Unfortunately, we didn't do all rounds, uh, but next year we'll be definitely doing it. It's up closer to us. James McGreal and Chris Mitchell secured the Class 15 national and border titles with the runner-up spot in Donegal. Not out since the first round in Mayo, JF Shovelin made a successful return to rallying to win Class 15 and finished 14th overall with Terence Fury calling the notes in the Subaru Impreza. Lee McLaughlin and Darren Kern won Class 20 in their Mitsubishi Lancer. In the historic class, it was Stephen McFerrin and James McKeefrey who took the win in their Mark II Escort. Gary McNamee held his nerve to take the junior title in style, winning the class with Bernard Foley navigating on the day. Back to the overall battle now and there was disappointment for Gary Jennings and Rory Kennedy who retired from second overall with engine trouble on the penultimate stage. Niall Maguire and Enda Sherry had a few shaky moments in the final loop but capped off their season with a podium finish in third. Manus Kelly followed up his wins in Carlo and the Donegal International Rally with the runner-up spot at the harvest this time, with Gareth Doherty navigating in the Subaru WRC. Declan and Brian Boyle took a convincing victory in Donegal, their fifth win of the year. Declan, three wins in a row at the Harvest. You must be delighted with that. Delighted, definitely delighted to get it. And, you know, at for Martin Hurley and the whole lot, in memory of Martin, uh, definitely brilliant to win it and get our name attached to, to that. And 2017, the season beckons. Have your thoughts turned to that yet? But we're definitely going to do the, the national championship. We love that championship. You know, you turn up and you do, do a, a recce, you, you go and do the rally next day, and you're only one night away from home. The Triton Series certainly has proved as popular as ever, and the championship chairman, Richard Talbot, believes it's going from strength to strength. Eight fantastic rounds. We had eight different rounds the last year, and that's the, that's the, the, the way the championship is. It's a, it's a new impetus every year, so we, we, it's been thrilled from a sponsor's point of view, from an organizer's point of view, and from a competitor's point of view, it's been fantastic. So as the sun sets in Donegal, there's confirmation of Declan and Brian Boyle's win, which secures second overall in the championship behind champions Roy White and James O'Brien. The curtain falls on a sensational season for the Triton Showers, the National Rally Championship. The newly crowned champions, well, they're adding their names to the history books and to those who lost out, I've no doubt that they're thinking ahead to 2017. From me and from all the team on On The Limit Sports, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next year.